this guy was a legend, so there you go. So I've got internet again. So someone said, I'm, um, Jeff said, I don't sound like a robot anymore. Do I sound all right now? Now I've got some decent internet. It took about two months, but there you go. Never trust the NBN. Anyway, big welcome. Thank you for being with us. We've got a great night planned. And we've got the amazing Tessa Jetson as our guest speaker. We can give a big wave to Tessa Jetson. Uh, Tessa, do you want to say a very, very quick hello just to set up things before we come back to you? Hi, everyone. Looking forward to the presentation. Thank you so much, Ed. Appreciate it. And what's it about very quickly, Tessa Jetson? My favourite topic of all time, how to bust procrastination. Ooh. So <laughs> stay tuned. We'll be back for Tessa. We love you, Tessa. And um, I was just going to say as well, tonight's being recorded. Keep it clean and positive. And like all things, please use the Zoom chat. And also to my legendary friends, please make sure you connect with each other and book one appointment per meeting. Uh, no, it's a book an appointment. So now we've got amazing Amir. Let's open with Amir. He's one of our leaders. Amir's going to be at a Sydney Mediterranean. Amir's got his, one of his pilot live webinars coming up. Don't you, Amir? I do. I thought um, I'd actually listen to Ed for once and put all of my uh, talks onto one little platform and do a webinar and share some of the secrets that you guys have been asking for. So I'm doing it in August, which is in two weeks' time. But you know what? I think I can cram a lot into an hour. So I'm going to have lots of energy drinks before I start and bust out as much <laughs> speed words per minute as I can squeeze into an hour. And we're doing it at 8 p.m. So it's a nice, friendly, non-Ed Zier time. I didn't want to clash with the Monday or Thursday, Ed. Oh, pleasure. We love you. So it is a webinar on um, buying beach uh, property. Is that a fair comment, Amir? That's pretty fair. It's the secrets behind what you can buy without listening to the naysayers and the media and all the rubbish out there and actually get value. Ooh, very exciting. So everyone, the link is there. Please book an Amir's live webinar now. And Amir, are you ready for our meetup tomorrow in beautiful Sydney? I'm pumped. That's uh, You guys are coming to level three, which is where my office is. So I, I think I might just uh, have to spray and wipe my desk, make sure that there's no dust lying around. Oh, Amir, you're looking forward to it. Round of applause, round of applause. We've got one of our other wonderful leaders here. We've got the amazing Karen Clark. Karen's an amazing quantum coach, and she's on the leadership team for our Brisbane meetup. And for those around the world, Brisbane's basically our Florida. Um, probably a mixture of Florida and uh, Vegas, I guess. How are you doing, Karen Clark? Yeah, that's a good description, Ed. I'm doing great. I've actually been to Florida, uh, Florida and Los Angeles and, um, yeah, quite a bit of that area. So it is a bit like that. Even even in the Gold Coast, they have streets with the same names and stuff like 7th Avenue, 7th Avenue and 6th Avenue. You, you know, you, you'll know all about it, Amir. Um, so I'm doing great. Thank you. I had a beautiful webinar last night and I've got some one-to-ones booked and I I just thought I'd share tonight with people a couple of things you were talking about busting paradigms Tessa and so I just wanted to share tonight that um if you don't I've probably said it before some of you might have heard of it uh heard it but if you don't get imposter syndrome you are an imposter yourself all these things, these procrastination, these imposter syndromes, these fears that we have, these beliefs that we have, they're all part of being human. <laughs> and so it's great to actually acknowledge that yeah. and go, okay, as long as I know that I'm doing it, then I can do something about it. Wow. Love you, Karen. Round of applause to Karen. Amazing as all of this. Another one of our leaders have slid in. The amazing Alexander Kittle. And I was just going to say, Alexander Kittle, after 10 calls to Telstra, three technicians, we got our MBN back online. Do you want to know what the problem was, Alexander Kittle? Oh, do share. Do share. So so the actual guy that came, Muhammad, actually took me into the communications room and there was this whole mess of cables and my terminal was rusted and he did a bypass um, skipping it. And now my internet's awesome, Alexander Kittle. There you go. Bit of rust, clean it up, back to normal, back to... The way it is, shouldn't be rusted in the first place, though. Just so someone didn't do a decent job to start off with. Oh, it was just a, it was just a pile of cables sticking out of the wall. It looked, it, they made the Philippines look like they had good electricians. Uh, yeah, we used a slide deck in the in a seminar that I did a couple of weeks ago, where we showed messy slides and actually showing the um, well, we, we're doing encrypting the hybrid workplace, and we just showed what a messy network looks like and what a decent network should look like. <laughs> So so Alex, tell us about you. You're our leader for Canberra. Tell, say a big hello, Alex. Great, great to um, see you. Big hello to the room. Glad to see everyone again. Amir, I am I am reading all those messages you send me every day. Um, 
I'm a technology specialist. I've been working, I work for a company called Ingram Micro Australia, which is the largest distributor of IT products to the retail and consumer market in Australia. And we apparently do electric scooters these days. Do you want an electric scooter, Edward? Um, I like a soft one, maybe. <laughs> yeah, um, I'm also a sales mentor on the side. Um, I, um, I coach young and upcoming sales specialists to become better salespeople in the future and uh, retrain the modern sales thinking. Beautiful. So good. Love it, Alex. Round of applause to Alex as always. We've also got um, the legendary Simone Lord with us. And Simone's coming to our meetup tomorrow. And Simone has been um, building some cool stuff. What's happening, Simone Lord? Hey, Ed. Good evening, everyone. It's Thursday, almost the end of the week, and an awesome week when it's Sydney meetup tomorrow. Got my babysitters lined up to pick up the kids. So I'm off the hook for the afternoon, which is really nice. <laughs> Uh, my name is Simone. I am a lifestyle and success mentor. So I really help busy families get their life in order um, around everything that needs to happen with career and work and kids and all that kind of stuff. I'm a police wife myself. So uh, my husband's been a serving officer for 13 years and we have three young kids. So I know a little bit about the balance around shift work and life. Uh, I also have a corporate background in in accounting and hold a very exciting position with Christian Lavolsi. So uh, in his business growth mindset. So I have a really great bag of mixed tools to be able to offer my clients. So I would love if anyone's interested in any of that to um, DM me, let's have a chat and see how I can help you. Thanks, Ed. Looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Oh, Pump Simone, always an absolute pleasure. A round of applause. And just also a big welcome to you for coming. So what we're going to do is... Um, Again, if you just come in, Tessa Jetson is our guest speaker tonight, so let's all wave to Tessa. So what we do is once we get through everyone, we're going to bounce over 15 minutes of winning with Tessa Jetson. And you'll notice I've got internet again. It was an exciting journey of sight, sound, and wiring. So I actually got internet. It feels weird actually having internet again. I can actually be productive. It's awesome. So I just want to open it up to the room, my legendary friends. So I was just going to say to you amazing winners, if you would love to say hello to the room, all you need to do is put up your hand, hit the hands up key, and we'd absolutely love to hear from you. Now, just on that note, uh, when you say hello to the room, up to half a minute limit, be direct and straight up, and that's the way to go. And as you keep talking, make sure you'll connect with each other on LinkedIn and book your meetings. So if you want to say hello to the room, hit the hands up key, and let's hear from you right now. Just hit the hands up key So in your Zoom reactions bar, just so I can manage the flow. Heather Mitchell, great seeing you. What's going on? Hi everyone, I'm Heather Mitchell. I'm a holistic money mentor from Finding Equilibrium. <laughs> nice to see you all. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I just wanted to say that um, everybody has a money story and everybody has a relationship with money. They may not realize they've got a relationship, but they do. So it's really a matter of finding out what that relationship is so that you can repair it. They, you might not like money very much deep down. So it's really important to get that kind of relationship going and also understand your relationship with yourself because there's another relationship going on there and that really determines your success because your outside is um, a manifestation of what goes on inside so really understanding that and repairing that so the combination of those two factors is really important to sort of get the foundations right to build a wealthy life. So I help people do all that and teach people how to invest and build a strategic portfolio. And I have a Foundations of Financial Freedom program starting <coughs> for women and for couples. So that's me, Heather from Finding Equilibrium. Oh, brilliant. Love having you with us, Heather, as always. Welcome. I've got the amazing Almari. We had a great chat the other day. And how are you doing, Almari? The floor is yours. Hello, Ed, and hello, everyone here. I'm happy to be here. Thank you. Yes, that was a really wonderful chat, and I'm, I learned so, lot, so much from you, so thank you very much for that. And I also want to say, while I have the air, hello to Heather. I spoke to Heather before, and I spoke to Tom before, spoke to Karen, and I spoke to Simone. So I'm happy to see you here again. Thank you. Um, for those who don't know me, I'm a freelance copywriter from sunny South Africa. I am working specifically with wellness and health entrepreneurs. But I'm open to any new ideas. So please connect with me if you need help with copyright. Oh, wonderful. Love your work. Amari, round of applause. Thank you. 
We've got my old friend Marie here. Marie, long time no see, so honoured to have you with us. Hello, how are you all? Well, so good seeing you. I'm so private today on my couch. That's why I wanted to stay behind camera. But, you know, I, t I so prefer having this. And it's absolutely okay for you to see me like that. So I'm Marie Alessi. Yeah. I run a movement called yeah. Loving Life After Loss. And I started that about nine months after my Rob, uh, my, Rob <laughs> my husband, Rob, died from a brain aneurysm. It was very sudden and there was no pre-warning. And I knew that I wanted to address grief very differently to what most people do, what most people know. And I did that because I knew I had to create a happy life for the boys and I. Our boys were only 10 and 8. They're now 12 and 14. I'm super proud the way they turn out. And um, I am now running just, you know, healing journeys, retreats, VIP days. And I've published two books. I'm a best-selling author. I'm a TEDx speaker. I've recently gained attention mm -hmm. from Channel 7 and Channel 9 and Mamma Mia and That's Life and all the beautiful, well-known magazines and uh, have now been addressed to actually bring my teaching into schools as well. But shh. That's still very unofficial. So that's me. Oh, pleasure. Welcome, Marie. So good having you with us. Big round of applause. Tom's, how are you, my friend? What's going on? Hi, Ed. I'm Hello. really happy to be back here after three weeks or even more being uh, attending uh, intensively Mind Valley University. For those of you who don't know, it's a self development and growth uh, festival. And now I'm back. I'm um, helping overthinkers to solve their problems, stress management, through mindfulness and yoga coaching, and really happy to be here and see you guys. Oh, Tom's always a pleasure. Love your work. Karen, how are you doing, Karen? So hit that unmute key, Karen. Hi, how, how are you? Can you hear me now? Speak loud and clear, Karen. The floor is yours. Yes, so I am a landscape portrait photographer. So my brand name is uh, Life Photo. So I work with uh, personal brands and I do corporate portraits as well. So as a photographer, I take the time, you know, to go over to poses with you and um, what clothes to wear so you can um, look your best in your photos as well. And also do landscape photos on commission as well. So um, if I'm trying to make my photo shoots, you know, fun and easy. So if you're interested and keen to learn more, then please feel free to reach out. Oh, pleasure, Karen. Make sure you share your LinkedIn link as well so everyone can get Yeah, I've got, I'm very active on Insta as well, so I will share that too. Ooh, there you go. Now, welcome, yes. Karen. What's your last name, Karen? Al Yung. Ooh, so let us all know so we can all connect with you. Round of applause, Karen. Big welcome. <laughs> And appreciate you. We're going to take a group photo soon as well. So get ready for a group photo, everyone. Uh, Linda Joy, how are you doing, Linda? Hello. Good evening, everyone. Great to be here. And it is the new moon tonight. So I encourage you all to write out your goals and intentions. And you've got the new moon in Australia is 3.55 a.m. in the morning. So you've got eight hours each side. So... Um, great time to write that out while the energy is really powerful. So I'm a quantum healer and I help executives find their joy after a relationship breakup. And my gift is to create sacred healing for people in leadership positions. And this heals themselves from the inside out and the ripple effect will impact every single relationship in their life. And starting with the power dynamic couple, and then this ripples out into their empire of influence. So I look at their communication, what the triggers are that cause the breakup, and then go to the root cause, which is usually childhood wounds. So relationship coaching, and I've got a webinar next Thursday. I'll pop the link in the chat. Thanks. Oh, beautiful. Big welcome. Great having you with us as always, Linda. Andreas, how are you, Andreas? Hello. I'll keep it brief, Ed. I'm super pumped to be here. Uh, thank you so much for all you've done for me, you and Lassie behind the scenes, of course, and the amazing people that are attending here. Uh, I'm a, a photographer specializing in PR. I found a new lease of life, found my mojo thanks to LinkedIn and, of course, attending these amazing uh, gatherings. I've also 
got my phone, the Galaxy, uh, the new Galaxy. So I'll be taking pictures on that and working LinkedIn on that. Thanks to Heck. I've uh, linked up with Heck and uh, changing my life uh, physically as well. Uh, that's 30 seconds up. Okay, I'll stop. <laughs> oh, we love you, love your efficiency, Andreas. Round of applause. Amazing man. Basca, what are you thinking, Basca? Hi, everybody. Uh, it's a great pleasure to be here. I've gained a lot of uh, things from being here. Uh, previously, I was a little bit uh, out of purpose and uh, didn't have a proper vision, but uh, doing a one on one and working with some people here has given me that uh, sense of purpose and vision and also have had clarity as well. Besides that, I'm a, a business analyst, a systems analyst and a project manager. I run my own consulting uh, firm, but I'm also on the lookout for uh, work. Cheers. And uh, I love salsa dancing, reading books, traveling, and I uh, like to watch cricket, soccer, tennis. Yeah. Cheers. There you go. Basker, always a pleasure. All right, friends, let's take a group photo. Um, so please, obviously, turn on your webcams. Now's the time to do it if you, if you want to, and I encourage you to do it. And get ready. Oh, I get all the cams are firing up. That's what I want to see. There we go. All right, we'll go as many as we can. So friends, three, two, one, smile and hold. Uh, one more time, three, two, one, smile and hold. Oh, that felt good. Let me just check it. How did it look? Oh, great photo. Oh, hang on, do I, do I stuff it up? No, it was a great photo. Give yourself a round of applause, friends. There we go. All right, so what we're going to do now is we're going to bounce over to test suggestion in just a moment. Before we do, I just want to show you the state of the nation. Now I've actually got internet i can actually get stuff done which is actually amazing i'm not used to having stable internet it feels good i'm like really productive again so now first things first i've got to say my friends i'm very excited about this this saturday 10 a.m australian eastern seaboard time is our linkedin influencer mastery workshop now if you haven't booked for this workshop yet now's your chance you're gonna love it two hours together you get the recording you get a mentoring session with me afterwards if you've been before, you get a great loyalty rate as well. So it is a paid workshop. I'm sharing the link right now. So click this link right now and book on in if you want to join us. Be absolutely honored to have you with us. So that's our Stay of the Nation one. The second thing is, well, we've got a few meetups coming up. We've got our face-to-face -face Sydney meetup tomorrow, which we're very excited about. We've also got a meetup in Perth, which is extraordinary. And this Monday, we've got our next live webinar, which I'm very excited about. It's a very special live webinar. I am doing a live webinar. I'm, I'll probably be the expert speaker on the Monday live webinar. Um, and I'm actually doing one on how to sell over LinkedIn. So a lot of people say to me, Ed, how on earth do I sell and get clients over LinkedIn? A very particular question. I'm going to look at how I use Messenger and how you can use Messenger and also how you can use live webinars, call to actions and those type of things. So book into that webinar right here, right now, which is all very good. So, but again, workshop is this Saturday. If you've been before, come again. You'll love it. If you haven't been, I promise you'll love it. Just click that link and book in right now. And uh, I don't know how you So without further ado, what we're going to do is we're going to bounce over 15 minutes of amazing winning with Tessa Jetson. Now, um, this is part of what our members can do in our events. They have the opportunity to speak at our events, and Tessa's going to do that up to 15 minutes. And while Tessa's doing that, I want to be listening very intensely as well as posting our networking post. So Tessa Jetson... How are you feeling? Are you all ready to go? Hit the unmute key, though, so we can hear that powerhouse voice of yours. Tessa Jetson. Hey, Ed, um, will you be able to share um, the screen so I can share my slides? Sorry. Guys, I'm, I'll tell you, I've got to tell you, I've done a webinar. I do Zooms all the time, and the other night I did one, and this particular PowerPoint just or just froze up on me, so I'm a little bit nervous. <laughs> all right, great. You're, you're, talk, you're talking to a guy who hasn't had stable internet. I know, that's what I thought. I was laughing. I thought, oh, look at Ed last week. <laughs> oh, All right, here man. we go. So um, I'm a master anti-procrastinator, but not the best tech in technology, guys. Mm -hmm. So, all right. So my host, yes? Yeah, no, all you got to do is hit share screen. You can do it. Go for it. Thank you. Awesome. Yay. Now, now just on that one, before you get started, Tessa Jetson and I go way back. Amazing lady. She cuts the chase and... 
What I ask you to do is keep your microphone on mute just for the next 15 minutes, and then we'll go to the open mic. So without further ado, Tessa Jets, in the round of yours, can we give her a round of applause? Tessa, 15 minutes, go for it. We love your work, Tessa. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. All right. Thank you, everyone. And this is my favourite topic. Am I unmuted again? So that was me. I tried to mute myself. <laughs> and as I moved the mouse over it, both boxes flicked instantly, accidentally muted you. That's okay, as long as it wasn't me. <laughs> yeah. So in other words, you now get more time. You now get a bonus minute. So 16 right. minutes over to you, Tessa Jetson. Okay, thank you. So, <laughs> all right, guys. So who am I and why should you listen to me? All right, so a little bit about myself. Um, so I've been into self-development for over 20 years. I'm a goal-setting specialist. I'm certified in habit change. I'm certified as a neuro change method master trainer. I'm an NLP master practitioner, certified life coach, trainer, assessor. So I actually started with Tony Robbins way back in the year 2000. Um, every year I upgrade my qualifications and certifications. And the last couple of years I've been fascinated about the brain and the mind and the science behind goal setting and procrastination. I'm actually the national director of our company. Actually, in fact, just about to be promoted to global director of the company and of the NeuroChange Institute. Now, also my backstory, I actually struggle with weight and alcohol issues and I've had anxiety, depression. I've been a broke single mom. I've been on government payments. You name it, I've been there. And that's after three years of therapy, I saw this infomercial of Tony Robbins and that changed my life. And I started my journey on self-development and literally have achieved um, everything I said I was going to do in my life through um, that journey over decades. So, so what are some of the reasons people procrastinate? Um, there's four major reasons. Look, this is of taking a half day workshop into 15 minutes, guys. So it's, I'm taking snapshots out of it. So major reasons, we've got the wrong goals, unclear focus, no action plan. So I ask people, so I work with a lot of coaches in my role and mentor them. The procrastination is an epidemic. I didn't expect that with coaches and practitioners, how much they procrastinate. Also, I've got a, a business group with a thousand members. Procrastination is an epidemic. So the main um, goal, me mental barriers, no action plan, they're all over the shop. They have unclear focus and they have the wrong goals. So these are the main reasons that I've come up with. Now, people want to change. They can change, but most don't. We all want to make positive changes. But the question is, how do we do that? And I'm here to tell you today. I'm here to tell you one major secret that if you do today, you will, you'll start changing your life. Most people actually, and we're talking business people here, most of you actually know what you need to do to reach your goals. You actually know, right? If I actually ask you to write it down, you bloody know what to do, right? <laughs> you know how to do it. And most of you can do it. You have the ability to do it, but you're not doing it. I'm not saying everyone, I'm saying whoever's not doing it, you're not doing it. So I'm here to talk about why that is, what's going on. So most people are stuck in an endless cycle of procrastination. I call it the procrastination loop. So what happens is stage one is getting excited about your goal, New Year's resolutions. Stage two, you know what to do. I've already established that, but you're not doing it. You avoid doing it, right? <laughs> stage three, excuses. Oh, what sort of excuses? Too hot, too cold, too busy, the kids, my wife, my partner, <laughs> all these excuses, right? Stage four is the blame. Oh, but, but it, you know, and then you go into the kids and all the reasons why. I am the busiest woman anyone knows and I get the most shit done out of anyone. <laughs> um, so I call this year procrastination hamster loop, just going around in a, psych, uh, in a circle. Don't do anything, feel guilty, doubt, doubt myself and feel helpless. So I call this the procrastination loop, right? So why are we stuck in there? This is what I'm passionate about teaching. There is actual scientific reasons why we're stuck in there. Our brain is wired to our past behaviors. You're living with automatic behaviors and belief systems that have been hardwired into your neurology. Your past beliefs are causing you the biggest sabotage. Your limited belief systems, thoughts and emotions are running on autopilot. Creating What we need to do is create a sustainable, attainable blueprint for change. And you need tools to support you to have a purposeful life. So what happens in the procrastination loop? You get excited, as I said, but you don't take action. You delay, defer, and put things off for another day. You constantly make excuses for not reaching your goals. I mean, I'm amazed at the amount of coaches and practitioners that pay thousands of dollars for courses, 18 grand, 20 grand, 30 grand, and don't implement anything what they learn, right? 90% of coaches are broke. I'm shocked at these statistics that since I'm in my role. 
Then you feel bad for non-action. Science has proven, now this is what's really important, guys. Science has proven that self-loathing prohibits goal attainment, right? So we're in this cycle of running ourselves down, so we have to stop that. It actually now gets harder and harder to reach your goals, even set a goal, because you've got no faith you'll do it, right? So this is what's going on scientifically. So reaching your goals, this is exciting news. It all gets positive now. <laughs> reaching your goals actually does the opposite. You start releasing dopamine, a feel-good chemical. So what we need to do is be keeping releasing dopamine so we can actually be a goal achiever. 90% of behavior though, 90% of most people's behavior is repeated on a loop all day. Unconscious thoughts caused by past traumas and hardwired beliefs govern your choices, your behaviors and your experiences and your emotions and fires off thoughts and you can go into that loop I was talking about before. We have 40,000 40, thoughts a day, 90% are repeated on a loop on what beliefs are wired already into the brain. And 90% of most people's thoughts are negative based on past history. And trust me, I know this from way back in the day, right? Because I've had depression. To achieve goals, we need to literally, we need to break free from procrastination. This is what we need to do. We need to overcome our limiting beliefs. We need to change your mindset. We need to rewire the neural pathways in the brain. But how do we do this, you ask? I know you're all thinking that right now. <laughs> how do we do this? The brain you were born with is um, modified by your experiences throughout your life. Your brain is changing all the time, but how do you train yourself to think, feel, and behave on a regular basis will rewrite your brain. So we need to change the thinking that's going on because otherwise you're in Groundhog Day, right? For decades, some people. So how do we make change and overcome procrastination? We need to create new neural pathways in the brain. So at the moment, those who are procrastinating, got the, you're in a cycle, you're in a cycle of procrastination. You're doing the same things over and over again. And um, we need to create new pathways to become a non-procrastinator, right? <laughs> so we need to create new pathways of being, and I'm going to teach you how. How do we do that? You ask. I know you're all thinking that. <laughs> we need to um, create them the same way we created the old ones, by repeating new behaviors over and over again. New habits build new pathways and the old ones will die off. So this is a synapsis. Inside that neural pathway I just showed you, this is the glowing light part. So we have a synapsis and repeated behavior sets off electrical currents in the synapsis and it starts forming new pathways, right? And you of a non-procrastinator. Now, research found while developing the habit change program that I'm certified in and the neuro change program that it takes around 66 days to reach a new level of habit change and automaticity. So we need to repeat these behaviors over long term. Right. So most people set goals and this is what's going on. Most people set goals too big and they fail and they're overwhelmed because the goals are too big, especially if you're a procrastinator. If you're a procrastinator right now, OK, there is no way that you are going to achieve these big goals. Right. So they're setting massive goals and you're not achieving them and you're getting overwhelmed. So any goals that are too big causes you to have fears which is your natural instinct to protect you as it's not something you've done before, right? So you're going through fears and it's releasing. <laughs> and then you're, um, and I'm going to go into more detail what's going on in your body then. To achieve anything new, we are, yes, we are going to have to face your fears. We are going to have to do that. There's no way around that, right? And you are going to have to get out of your comfort zone. I remember when I wanted to be a public speaker, I was shaking. I was shaking at the thought of it, right? But I was determined to do it and I kept practicing, but you need to start small so you're not overwhelmed. That's the key, guys, right? Setting up these big action plans that you don't reach. This is what's going on. I'll see a lot of people laughing. Um, Andreas, I'm loving your vibe, man. <laughs> and you uh, can actually achieve your goals. So we need to start smaller. If you're a procrastinator, you cannot start big, right? Yes, you can have your 12-month plan, but we need to chunk it down. So if you've been a procrastinator, you need to start small. I've written this big, guys, so you're really getting this, right? <laughs> um, so you, be, till you be, create the habit of being a doer, right? You need to create the habit. So you may be successful in one area of your life, but you're a procrastinator in, other, in others. Now, this was me. I've been a six-figure income owner for over nearly 20 years. In everything I've done since i come across self-development, I've always reached six figures, been, been really successful. Always done that, right? Because when I got into Tony Robbins, I become, I've had been a mortgage broker. I've had a property business. I've done multiple things and always reached the top, except I could not get control of my health. That was one area of my life that I wasn't able to master for many years till I learned about the brain and habit change. So basically, I had no history of success for many years with my health. So I was working my 
ass off every I was working so hard, working so hard, making money, setting my goals, but then having wines every night and and not putting a focus on my health and and um, I wasn't and I was setting the goals too big and I was doing exactly what I was talking about before, but around my health, right? This was me, um, January 2020. So I've lost. So I use these principles in this program to now you to do that with my health. So I've lost 30 kilos and given up um, years of alcohol, <laughs> years of drinking alcohol every night. Um, I was in I was I was in Groundhog Day around my health. So I've used these principles now around my health, and now I help people with procrastination and their health. So when you reach your small goals, this is what's really important. You release dopamine, as I said before. This is a chemical that's released in the brain that makes you feel good. But even more importantly, it's actually the glue that joins the synapses together. So you've got the electrical currents going off to create the new synapses to, to rewire the new pathway together. But unless if you're not releasing the dopamine, it's never going to glue together. So we need to. So this is a closer picture of our of um, the, the synapses and you've got the dopamine going through there and that's wiring the new pathways together. So now I am a person who thinks healthy. I, I actually film some funny videos going into bottle shops now. I have no thoughts of my old habits. It's just not even non-existent. I've rewired my brain around my ha health habits. So as you start to have a history of becoming a goal achievement, you can now start to overcome your limiting beliefs because you're getting some success, right? You're getting some success. If you constantly set goals and have never reached your goals, you may hold these beliefs. I'm not good enough. I never reach my goals. Nothing works out for me. And this is what 90% of the business people that I've been coaching and 90% of the coaches that I work with have got this crap going on every day. I can't, I was shocked. Um, so it's another failure. I'm not good enough. I'm not confident. I'm not a public speaker. All this stuff is going on all the time. So how do you think you would feel with this um, about yourself with this, these belief systems? Well, do you think you can actually achieve goals? No, you can't. You can't achieve goals in this state of mind. It is not possible with negative beliefs. 90% of people thinking 90% negative. So science has proven that self-punishment, negative self-talk prohibits success in all areas of your life. And I talked about that before. And that was me with my health. I was just running myself down constantly. Why can't I get this under control? What's going on? All this sort of stuff going on. Even going to AA, guys, I actually thought I would have to live my life in AA. I thought this is the most depressing thing I've ever had to go through. <laughs> but I know now I wasn't an alcoholic. I was, just didn't have the habit loop sorted out. If you have negative self-talk, you don't just think about it. You physically feel it. So what happens to the brain when, when we have these thoughts? We actually release cortisol, a chemical that makes you feel anxiety. So not only you're not releasing dopamine, this is the most important part I want you all to get. So you're not releasing dopamine because you're not achieving your goals, but you're now also releasing cortisol. So you're now physically feeling anxiety. You're feeling, you're thinking it and you're feeling it. You cannot achieve goals in this state. You're just not possible, right? So this is this is how this is what most business people are looking like, right? You actually got anxiety going on, you're stressed out, you're running yourself down. You cannot achieve your goals in this state of mind. Not possible. So most people are stuck in an endless cycle, as I said earlier, with their goals. They start a goal, fail, feel bad, release cortisol, feel worse, and they go back to the start. And this goes on for years, some of these people, some of the coaches that I've been working with, finally they're they're actually some of them are now public speakers, which is pretty exciting. So if we set small realistic goals and keep releasing dopamine, you're constantly being proud of yourself and you're releasing the dopamine, doing repeating small goals, releasing the electrical currents, rewiring the brain. But the most important part is, guys, you need to be proud of yourself on a daily basis, right? So yes, I achieved that goal today. Yes, well done. Good on you. Woohoo! I did that email. <laughs> Start the bloody goal so small, right? And my golden rule for goal achievement, my hard copy diary is my Bible. Before I go to bed, I write down what actions I'm going to get done. And I make it, if it's in my diary, I get it done. So don't put things, do not say you're going to do things because if you actually say you're going to do something, you don't do it. It's actually a form of self-sabotage because you're just, you're just going against everything I've talked about, right? So the method that I use to bust procrastination, I'll just briefly share, is the neuro change method, as I said earlier. So reach out to me um, if anyone's interested in, in um, my programs that I, I basically, it's all about science, teaching you about the brain. Um, we have half a million dollars of science-based evidence gone into our programs that we um, certify coaches in. And also this is what I run my clients through. So it's a six module course going, starting with your purpose, your belief systems, your mindset, 
emotional intelligence, your subconscious mind, neuroplasticity. So it's all about rewiring the brain and learning the science behind everything that's going on in this head. For years I've studied, years I've been an anti-procrastinator, but never understood how I was a high achiever and how other people weren't doing that and couldn't work it out with my health as well until I, I learned about the brain. So um, you also get it when I work with my clients, I give them a 200-page, 90-day challenge to work with your goals to do the rewiring of your brain. So that's, um, and if you're interested in becoming a practitioner, I'm right on to you. I'm, I really whizzed through this. Um, so if you're interested in either becoming a practitioner or working with me, just please reach out to me. And thank you, everyone, for listening to my presentation. I really appreciate it. See, so I get and um, kept on time, and I'm obviously super passionate about helping people with their goals. And thanks, Ed. Pre thanks for the opportunity. Oh, my God. Can we give a round of applause to Tessa? Brilliant, on time, in the zone. And Tessa, I have to say, you described the old Edwards here beautifully when you were talking about, you know, uh, replace alcohol with food and you've got me, basically. We're basically the same. No wonder we get along. We're basically the same character, <laughs> I can say. All right. Now I've got to make you back to host or you can do that. Oh, oh. No, actually, just so you know, I don't actually have to make you host. Um, you can now just allow screen sharing. So it, um, it zooms Ah, well, there you go. Up. I told yeah. you I wasn't technical and I run Zooms and run courses. Oh, that's another new thing I've learned. There you go. There you go. Well, <laughs> um, I've now got interruption-free broadband. What an innovation, huh? So there you go. <laughs> it's uh, crazy. Um, but no, a great job for uh, Tessa. Now, um, if you've got any questions for Tessa, um, two ways you can ask them, just type them in the chat or put up your hand and ask. And like all things, when you ask a question, just ask one question. And ask it in very simple terms so Tessa can give you a really straight answer. So if you want to ask a question, put up your hand uh, for Tessa. We'd love to hear it. I mean, what's your question? Love your work. Tessa, first of all, thank you. I love the speed you went through the slides. There's nothing worse than seeing one slide and then just sitting there waiting for somebody to slowly read through it. No, you, gave us, <laughs> you gave us very simple slides and went through it really fast. I really appreciate that. Uh, my question is to do with what you choose as your goal that you know you're going to, to win at. So, for example, if, if you've got a, a, a big audacious goal and from that big goal you've chunked it down to small ones, do you choose something that you know is going to be a win or do you choose your stretch goal? Oh, you basically, the bottom, you need to work on the goal you're passionate about. So you need to, like I basically, um, I've got multiple goals, but you need to be working on the one you're most passionate about to start with and then chunk it down. Um, and this, I learned this years ago back from um, even the Brian Tracy days, but work on a goal you're absolutely passionate about and make sure, like I said earlier, it's the right goal. You've got a clear focus. You got an action plan. Um, you can have multiple goals. Like I've got multiple businesses and a charity. I'm doing multiple things, but for every goal I'm working on, I have a clear action plan and micro steps. And then I decide every night before I what am I going to tackle for that goal tomorrow? And that's the key so if, thing. So if your um your passion is business number three, but business number three asks you to do your taxes and asks you to do the marketing and asks you to do the artistic stuff and you love the artistic stuff and you're passionate for your business number three but do you still do your taxes well guess what i spent saturday night doing my freaking boring taxes <laughs> and i hate it too but obviously there are things we do and outsource guys like i you know like um things that some things we don't enjoy everything but it's if it's part of your goals you've got to get it done right and that's where people avoid stuff and they don't you just have everything you need to do in it in a to-do list Mike, every act step you need to do to reach your goal and you need to, to, to act, take action on it every single day if it's something you don't feel happy about doing, which gives you anxiety, right? Get someone else to do it. I've got like um, four people that work for me now doing all these mundane tasks and things I don't want to do. So, um, yeah, high, if, if that gives you anxiety. So that's probably the reason you're asking. If it's something you hate, then I would definitely try to outsource that role but there are some things we're going to do that we don't enjoy doing we just got to do it right yep we all need little john to do our stuff for us that's it <laughs> oh beautiful question Mubi. thank you if you've got a question or a thought for tessa put your hand up right now we would love to hear it and guys and if there's no questions that means i've done a good job so don't feel like you've got to ask me a question you can reach out to me if you've got any questions and um yeah thanks everyone for listening Awesome. And just so to some extent, so if people want to work with you, they can just reach out to you on LinkedIn or whatever, Tessa, and book in a discovery session or the like? Yep, just reach out to me. And to be honest, and 
unless you're an um, unless you implement what I teach, you're booted out of my groups because I, I I've made it one thing. I just I didn't share this in my presentation, but one really important thing for me, I work with leaders. And I and when I, I I care so much about people that I think about you like if you don't reach your goals. So when I work with my groups, I run groups and it's actually empowering because you're bumping off each other and it keeps the price down for you. Also, you're accountable to the group. You've got to post your goals. And if you don't post them, well, I assume you're not keen on your goals, so you'll be asked to leave because it's sort of a wasted energy on my space thinking about you, but also disrespecting the group. Um, yeah, I don't do one-on-one -on -one work anymore. I love working in groups. I find it fun, engaging, exciting, but you've got to be an action taker. Otherwise, you're not serious about your goals, right? Because unless you implement, you will not do the rewiring in your brain. Not So just hearing me talk and motivate, motivating, motivating you every week is not going to change your life. For maybe an hour, a couple of hours, and you, but then you're going to get all that stressed out again and anxiety because you're not reaching your goals. Oh, brilliant. Well said, Tessa. David Quinn Watson, what are you thinking, David Quinn Watson? Uh, I'm thinking what a great day this is, Ed. We had uh, Joy Ben talking about uh, resetting your goals. We've had uh, Amanda with uh, fantastic energy. Oh, sorry, Tessa with fantastic energy in her presentation. And uh, today is actually National Refreshment Day in the US. I reckon we could make it here. And um, <clears throat> you don't have to go and have alcohol. Have a healthy drink. And uh, I think both of what we heard from uh, from uh, both those ladies is about uh, restarting and uh, focusing on something that we want to do. So it's uh, I just really appreciate the energy. It's such a boost to be part of this group. And thanks heaps, Ed, for, for creating it. Oh, we love you. And just before you go, you're a sales coach, I understand, David Quinn Watson. I am indeed, Ed. I help uh, people overcome some issues with sales. And I loved what Tessa was saying about limiting beliefs because uh, that's often what he, help, uh, holds people back from closing the sale or even talking about their stuff. You know, So uh, that's one of the things I, I had to overcome in my life and I want to help people learn that lesson but a whole damn sight quicker than I ever did. So uh, reach out to me. My details are in the chat if you would want to talk further. Thanks very much, Ed. Oh, we love you, Dave. A round of applause. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to wind things up but before we do that, please talk to each other. Make sure you connect on LinkedIn. If you're watching the recording, do the same thing and make sure you book at least one meeting per uh, meeting. So pick someone good that you're speaking to and book a one-on-one -on -one catch up. If you're in the same city, meet for coffee or lunch or have a drink. Um, if not, just obviously meet over the internet, over Zoom or the phone. So I was going to say, you know, two things. If you haven't spoken to the room yet, if you haven't said hello, and you would like to say hello, I would like to invite you now. So if you haven't said hello to the room yet, now's your chance. All you gotta do is hit the hands up key, and it's your chance to say hello, and I invite you to do it. So if you haven't said hello and you wanna say hello, hit the hands up key right now. Maximum half a minute. Tell us what you're thinking, what you're up to. Richard Thomas, how you doing, Richard? Hey there, Ed, and good evening all. And yeah, sorry, Tessa, I missed out on your presentation. It's running a bit late getting in. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm, I've been having fun this week um, uh, learning and implement, setting up a brand new digital marketing tool, which is all about, I, I reckon it's very exciting, a lot of fun. Um, it's a pretty cool little tool that uh, is, a, is a, like a welcome video on your website, which just little sits in the corner and pops up when, uh, when you click on it and um, invites people to interact and, and contact the business or, you know, do whatever they want, you know, put whatever you like in the video, which is, um, which is awesome. And also lets you collect video testimonials on the spot from people who have dealt with your business. So I'm um, having fun getting that organized. So that's me this week. Oh, pleasure. Love your work, Richard. Would anyone else like to say hello if you haven't spoken yet? Alrighty then. Well, who would like to say anything? If you would like to say anything else or make a point, anyone? Hands up, now's your chance. Amir, what are you thinking? I wanted to actually say thank you, Ed. Um, thank you to you because, you know, we're speaking about anti-procrastination. Yesterday you said something to me. You gave me some instructions. You said, Amir, you need to do this. And, you know, just, just get it, do it, spend time on it, get it done by tomorrow. I said, what, tomorrow? I don't know what you mean by tomorrow. I'm doing it today. <laughs> and we actually did it today. And, you know, you you squeeze me in between clients, you found some time to actually spend time. And that's why I value your platinum service. 
So for those of you who don't know, this is an actual live testimonial. I joined up with it about two and a half years ago, but I've now moved up to the platinum service. And what that means is that you actually get some of Ed's brains. You don't keep them forever, but he does make time <laughs> for you and spend time actually answering the questions that you get stuck on. So for me, I've never done a webinar. I know, I know my stuff on real estate, just like Tessa said, she knows her subject matter really well, but that doesn't mean that I'm an expert on everything. I know how to use a computer and I know how to edit a video, but I don't know how to do a webinar. Shh, don't tell anyone, but Ed does. <laughs> That's the main thing. So when you seek out people that actually know more than you do in a specific field, you're going to shortcut hours, weeks, or months off your journey. And that doesn't mean that you don't learn from it. In fact, you actually learn better because instead of learning from your mistakes, you can actually learn from somebody else's wins because you want to copy somebody who's been successful in that field, like Mr. Edward Zia. So just wanted to big thank you, Ed, and uh, you guys that are meeting us tomorrow in Sydney, you're gonna love it. And I'm really looking forward to this recording because I'm gonna watch this again, Tessa. I love your slides. Uh, thank you, I booked you, I'm booking you for an appointment, thanks. <laughs> Yeah. And I should be able to get out the recording because I'm not flying. Um, just to let you know, a, a, um, while I've got you, a lot of people have asked me when the recordings come out. If I'm not flying, I usually get the Thursday recording out the next day or Saturday. If I'm flying, the recording usually comes out over the weekend. So I'll, I'll try and get this one out tomorrow, if not Saturday. So stay tuned for that one. And a big thank you to me. Amir. Amir, did you want to share your webinar again? Again, Amir's got his first webinar. Um, so Amir, if you can share the link, um, if everyone can book in, that'll be awesome. Absolutely, I'd love to do that. And some of you I'm seeing on Saturday for Ed's Mastermind. So I'm really looking forward to the, the Saturday going even deeper into how we make things work. So Ed, I every time, this is I think my fourth Saturday with you. Yes. And I am getting so much out of every time. I learn something different because I'm at a different stage of my business. So once you grow past a certain point, you know that stuff, but then you ask more intelligent questions. Uh. So Amazing. absolutely, I'll share a link to the webinar and I've been sharing it on LinkedIn as well. I don't know if anybody reads LinkedIn, but I'm sharing the link on LinkedIn for the webinar. That's uh, the Wednesday, the 10th of August and also in the chat here. So for those watching the recording and not able to download the link here, find me on LinkedIn under Amir Meshel, M-E-S-H-E-L. Thanks, Ed. Love your work, Amir. Big thank you. Would anyone else like to say anything? Now's your chance. Just want to say thank you, Ed, for the opportunity. Thank you, everyone, for listening. Appreciate it. Thank you. Well, that looks like a wrap. You're all a beautiful group of people. So connect with each other. Um, can we all unmute and give a thunderous round of applause so I can uh, we'll sign in on that one? Thank you, everyone. Wonderful. Thanks a lot, guys. Thank you. Bye, everyone. Thank you. Have a good weekend. Thank you. Thank you.